So we're going to look at how to multiply two digit numbers by one digit numbers. The method we're going to use is the standard written method or the column method. And the example question we're going to use is 23 multiplied by 4. We lay the question out like this, so we always have the smaller number on the bottom. And we're going to work from right to left, so we'll start by multiplying the units column and then we'll multiply the tens column. So let's start. Our first step is to multiply 4 by 3. Now this is where knowing your times tables is really important. So 4 times 3 equals 12. Now we can't just write 12 because we can only put one digit in the units column. So let's look at the number 12. The 2 is in the units column. So we're going to put the 2 in the units column in our sum. But we also have 110, which we're going to carry over to our tens column and add that on later. Now I've put my 1 underneath the sum, but it can also go at the top or above the line. It all depends on your teacher's method. As long as it's somewhere that you'll remember it, that's fine. Now a good way to make sure you always carry the right number across is to remember that you always write the number on the right and carry the number on the left. So now we can multiply our tens column. So we're going to do 4 times 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. But then we also need to remember the 1 that we carried over. So 8 add 1 equals 9. So we put 9 in our tens column. So now we have the number 92, which is our answer. So let's do it all together right from the top. 4 times 3 is 12. So we write the 2 and carry the 1 over. Then 4 times 2 equals 8. Add the 1 that we carried over makes 9. Our answer is 92.